Hi everybody, welcome to another video in Math 1332, section 2.1, basic set concept. Uh, so we go going to set theory. Uh, so first we need to define what is a set. Uh, so a set is just a collection of things. And it is well defined so that we know exactly uh, if an element is in the set or not in the set. And each member uh, or each object in the set is called an element or member of the set. And the way we write the set, there are three ways to do that. Uh, the list or the roster method, the descriptive method, and the set builder notation. Now we go to those methods. So uh, the roster method are ways we just list everything uh, between the braces. Braces mean the, the curly bracket with commas between the elements, order doesn't matter. Right. So for example, uh, I can, for example, this is a set of three elements, one, two, and three, in the curly bracket. And if we want to use this symbol, uh, that means it's in the set or it's an element of, uh, we can write one is an element of the set, one, two, and three. That is an example of that. Right. Now, uh, here, let's uh, look at some example. Uh, write a set of all the months of the year begin with uh, M. That would be May or March. And write a set, we use the curly bracket. Now, uh, write a set of months of the year that contain the letter R. Right, so we use the curly bracket. Uh, start with uh, January. Uh, February. March. April. Uh, not May. Not June, not July, not August, uh, September, October, November, and December. All right, so just write the set like that. Uh, a natural numbers is the set of all counting numbers 1, 2, 3, and 2 on. If we want to write, we say the set of natural numbers, we write like that, uh, equal to the set of 1, 2, 3, and so on. Uh, we use a dot, dot, dot because we cannot list all the natural numbers, but we know the pattern. Uh, that. Next, uh, use the roster method to write the following, write the set of natural numbers, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on but less than 6, so it have to be less than 6 uh, write a set of odd natural numbers greater than 4 so odd number greater than 4, so it have to be four, uh, bigger than 4 so the odd number is down from 5, uh, 7, 9, 11, and so on yeah, so we just list them Decide which of the following statement is true or false. Uh, is Oregon in the set A where A is the set of all the states west of Mississippi River? And the answer to that is yes. Uh, Oregon is on the west of the Mississippi River. So it's true. Uh, so that is true. Next, is 27 belongs to this set? Well, we have to write uh, this pattern out and see if we do have. 27 in it or not. 1, 5, 9, 13, 17. So pretty much we add 4 every time. So plus 4 will be 21, plus 4 will be 25, plus 4 will be 29, and so on. And you see the 27 is not belongs to this set. Uh, so in that case we say uh, this is false. 
So if we say something is not in the set, we can say uh, 27 is not a member of, or is not in the set of 1, 5, 9, and so on. Right. Next, z is not in this set, so this is false because z is in there. So this is false. This is true. Let me test. Right. Next, the descriptive method. Uh, so this is the second way to write a set. Descriptive method use short verbal statement to describe a set. So pretty much we describe it in words. So use the descriptive method to describe the set B contain 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So those are even numbers. And uh, but not actually just even number. Remember, zero is also even. Uh, negative two is also even. But this is uh, bigger than zero. All of them are positive even number, right? So actually, we say uh, natural or even natural numbers. even natural numbers so it's the first even number the first natural even numbers is 2 0 doesn't count 0 is not in natural numbers so we start from 1 is not even so we exclude it so we start from 2 is the first natural num even number 4, 6, 8 and so on so we say uh, even natural numbers that are less than or equal to 12 That is uh, one way to do that. Uh, if we want to write two different ways. So if we say less than or equal to 12, if we don't want to write like that, we can say less than 13. Or even less than 14. Uh, still work, right? Still describe the same thing. So this is one way to write that. Yeah, another way, even natural numbers. I forgot it doesn't sound wrong. Yeah. And natural number that are less than 13. Yeah. That des describes the same thing, essentially. Right. Next, uh, use the description method to describe the set. Uh, Washington Adams, uh, if you recognize the name, those are US president, but not just any US president. Those are the first five. Uh, so we said, if we want to describe it, we said uh, the set of the first, the names of the first uh, five uh, US president. Right, just like that. Uh, the next method is the set builder notation. Uh, the set builder notation is kind of in the between the two. Uh, we use the bracket to denote the set, but we write the set of on the X and then we draw the vertical bar. The vertical bar says such that so the set of on the X such that X is even natural numbers and less than or equal to twelve. So that uh, describes what we have here. Right. And we will use a variable like X. And then we say X has some certain characters. Right. Uh, use the set builder notation to write each of the following uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we will start with the set of all the x such that. Right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the first 5 uh, natural numbers. We can just write like that. But we say x is a natural number. is a natural number and less than or equal to 5 or less than 6 
Ah, so that is the set builder notation. We use the brackets, a vertical bar meaning such that. So the set of all the x such that x is a natural number and x less than or equal to 5. Next, uh, W is the second ten. This three color. Well, of course there are three colors, but uh, a little more special about this. Those are the primary color. So we say the set on the X says that X is a primary color. Right. So we just have that. Next. Uh, designate the set S with element 32, 33, 34, and so on. I write those using all three methods of writing set. So we can say it, uh, the listing, if we just want to list them, some 32, 33, right? So that uh, the roster or the list. Next description, we say it, uh, the set as a natural number natural numbers that are greater than or equal to 32 and then the, the set builder notation the set of all the x Set that x is the natural number. And x greater than or equal to 32. <laughs> we just uh, like that. Uh, note that sometimes um, there are too many elements and we can use ellipses or the dot 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 to represent the missing element as long as the pattern is clear. For example, if we want the roster method from 99 to 201, we can just say it away. The set of all even natural numbers between 99 and 201, so we can say roster method, we just want to list them between 99, so we have to say 100. We want even number. Uh, go to 201 but uh, even number less than 201 so it has to be 200 yeah. so this is the roster method we just have all the even numbers between uh, 99 to 201 uh, so it has to be actually 100 to 200 all right uh, next uh, more on set theories uh, a set with no elements is called an empty set or a new set the symbol for that is a circle with a slash to it or which is an empty brackets which of the following set are empty well this is not an empty set because this one has one element which is an empty set so this is a set of sets and that set has one element so this set has one member and the member is an empty set so it's not empty next uh, write the setup on the X such that x is natural numbers uh, between 1 and 2, not equal to 1, not equal to 2. Well, we know that from 1 to 2, uh, there's no natural numbers fitting between 1 and 2. We have 1, we have 2, but we don't have the equal sign here. So in that case, uh, this set has no member. So this is indeed an empty set um, because it has no member. It has no element. Just like that. Right, define a uh, cardinal number. Cardinal number 
is the number of elements in the set. We can write n of a and we read n of a. So how many members in the set give us the cardinality of that set. So find the cardinal number for set A. So this set A has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So send n of A is equal to 6. Next, the set of B such that uh, natural numbers less than 16. So actually, if we want to list them in the roster of method, we start from that on the way to 15. And if we count, there are 15 of them. So we say uh, cardinal number B is 15 number. C, how many members do we have in C? Well, that's only one, right? That is number 15. So N of C is one. And finally, an empty set has no element. So N of an empty set is equal to zero. Next, uh, we define an infinite and a finite set. A finite set has finite element. So any number that does not go to infinity is finite. Right, so if cardinal equal to a natural number, then it is finite. If the number of elements just keep getting bigger and bigger, uh, that will be in infinite set. Right, so classify the set of the following as finite or infinite. Uh, natural numbers less than 100, well, there are 99 of them from 1 to 99. So because the cardinal number is 99, it is finite. Uh, there are 99 number from 1 to 99. And um, so a finite number. Uh, the set R is the set of letters used to make Roman numerals. Well, that will be 1, V for 5, X for 10, L, 50, C, 100, uh, D, and M, 4000. So there are 7 of them, and of course it is 59. Next. Uh, 100, 102, 104, and dot, dot, dot. This dot, dot, dot means it goes on indefinitely. And so the cardinal, uh, we don't have the cardinal number because that cardinal number just gets bigger, bigger as we have more and more elements. So this is infinite set. Set M is the set of people in your immediate family. Well, I don't know how many people in your immediate family. Uh, maybe you you know, maybe you don't. But the thing here is, I'll ask you this. How many people are on Earth? The population of the Earth? 7 billion? 8 billion? Well, it doesn't matter. Even if it is 8 billion, it's still finite. Right? If we can have the number on the top of the maximum number we can think of, the people on Earth, a millions, a billions, sorry. Uh, so in that case, that's still finite. And the people in your family, in the immediate family, have to be less than that. So that has to be finite. Except we don't know, but it is finite. And this is the set of all the numbers between 0 and 2. Well, usually up to this point, we say the set of natural numbers have some certain properties. Well, this we don't have natural numbers. So between 0 and 2, it is infinite amount of numbers. It could be 1, 1 1.2, 1.5, or any decimal form. Right? So in this case, it is infinite. Because this is not uh, natural numbers. Natural numbers, there are only one, which is 1. Um, but this is any number, so we can take 0 0.5, 0 0.52, 0 0.5, 2, 3, so that could go on indefinitely, so it is infinite. Right. Next, we define uh, two concepts here. Uh, two sets are equal, 
and would write equal if they have exactly the same members of elements. Uh, two set A and B are said to be equivalent if they have the same number of elements. So one of them have exact the same elements and one of them are not. So for example, I can give you an example here. The set of 1, 2 is equal to the set of 2 and 1. Because they have exactly the same element, 1 and 2. However, if we want to use uh, equivalent, uh, I can write like this. The set 1 of 2 is equivalent to the set A and B. Well, both of them have two elements, so they are equivalent. Of course, uh, equal will be a much stronger condition than equivalent. If it is equal, it is also equivalent. If it is equivalent, it may not be equal. Right. So, with that, I have answered this, I have to, uh, answer this question. I stay whether the following set is equal, equivalent, or neither. Actually, we could say both, but uh, equal meaning equivalent as well. So, we don't have to write both. If it is equal, it sure will be equivalent as well. So, I should say equal, only equivalent, or neither. Right. I was the first set to have P, Q, R, S, A, B, C, D, four members here, four members there, and the members are different. So this is only equivalent. Next we have A, 10, and 12, 12, A, and 10, so they are the same. Order doesn't really matter. So in this case, they are equal. Of course, if they are equal, they are also equivalent. But like I said, equal will be a stronger condition than that. Right? A, 10, 12, 12, A, 10, equal. Next, 2, 1, 3. Actually, this is only one uh, member. This have 1, 2, 3 members. So they cannot be equivalent. So in that case, we just say neither. One member, three members. Right, next, we have 1, 2, 10, 20, 2, 1, 20, and 11. The difference is between the 10 and 11. So they're not exactly the same. But... They have four elements here and four elements there. So the same number of members, same cardinality, so they are equivalent. I'll write out even natural numbers less than 10, 2, 4, 6. If we write this set, even natural numbers less than 10, that would be 2, 4, 6, 8. And they're exactly the same, so they are equal. Right, so that is uh, equal and equivalent. Right, uh, with that, uh, we finish section 2.1. Thank you for watching. See you in another video in Math 1332.